I don't know what to do. I think today not what video tutorial on how to beatbox. Yay! Assalamualaikum, welcome back to this channel. I know it's been a while. I haven't made any videos because I'm not that creative. Yes. But anyway, um, most of you guys have asked me like, hey, show us or teach us on how to beatbox and so on. I've been thinking about it. But yeah, I don't know how to teach you guys because you know, last video, like I'm giving you a tutorial on how to do the flowy, flowy kind of hijab and it is such a fail. I'm not good in teaching, but yeah, hopefully this video will turn out to be at least you guys have something to learn from this video. Okay, let's now firstly you need to purify your intention because um like a hadith mentioned in the ma'amal binyat every action of yours is depends on your intention so if you have wrong intention then oh oh it's a bad thing so you need to purify your intention secondly you need to have strong because beatbox is something that is not easy i've discovered beatbox since i was 11 years old at that time it was around 2008 at first i'm just like looking at youtube like whoa who is this guy wow they're so good making weird sounds yeah at that time 2008 what video tutorial none it's really really hard to find one so this is the then say put try la aplikasi sendiri so how and what are the applications so when i say belajar to what people so senang je first huruf p huruf t dan huruf k pertama sekali saya bukannya dah level pro tau saya masih lagi amatur dan masih lagi belajar namun uh, teringat saya kan benda ilmu ni kita kena kongsikan kepada orang lain jadi mudah-mudahan dapat manfaatnya di sini so huruf p you have to make of course, a P sound, but not P sound. It's like this. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate you. It's almost a B, but actually it is a P because korang macam nak tahan that um, pressure. Do it with me. Okay, korang nak cakap P tapi korang macam tahan tau the pressure, air pressure kat sini. Okay, got it? So let's move on. To T. T is very simple, inshallah. You just need to pronounce T. And then K, there they do it. Inward K and an outward K. So, outward K, I know it's hard. Say it together. Okay? So, they have a lot of but if you have. Good intention. Semangat yang kuat, insyaAllah, you will get there. Okay, now inward K. Now inward K, this is the hardest part of all. But inshallah, you need to suck in the air. I know, it sounds weird. Before you do this, I just want to ensure you guys, like, jangan choke yourself. Don't choke yourself because, no, I choke myself. Bila buat benda tu macam, Sebab dia tertelan ailu. Ailu tu terlekat dekat tekak tu, so. Now, what in work, okay? Now, but you suck in the air, but not the air. Um, Susana explained, but okay, got it? Don't choke yourself. Yeah, you guys can start practice. So, we need to PTK. Speed it up. Selain daripada tu, dia ada macam-macam bunyi yang kalau boleh explore sendiri. Antaranya saya buat macam Yeah, I know. I know. Sembuh air. But don't worry, screen ni tak ada. Sembuh air apa pun. And kalau korang dah sampai satu level tu, you're good. Korang boleh buat juga bunyi macam Ya mudah-mudahan membantu InsyaAllah um, Kalau korang dah sampai satu tahap tu um, Dah 
bagus let me know maafkan segala dalat dala segala salah dan silap sepanjang video ini kukut lah ada um, macam video lepas kan oh sebelum tu um, memenangkan saya dah buat video ni um, saya nak kongsi lah sikit uh, mudah-mudahan uh, perkongsian ini memberi manfaat kepada kita semua insyaAllah ia berkaitan dengan ayat Inna Allah jamilun wa yuhibbul jamal. Allah sesungguhnya Allah itu cantik dan sukakan kecantikan. Cantik ini ada banyak definisi dia. Cantik dari segi rupa, mungkin uh, orang kata akhlak itu cantik dan sebaik-baiknya akhlak itu adalah paling orang kata menawan sekali. Sebab wajah ni boleh jadi tua. Sekejap saja benda ni pinjaman semata-mata tapi yang paling penting sekali akhlak. Jadi saya nak tekankan kecantikan akhlak ini kan. Bila kita nak memberi uh, orang kata Yelah nasihat dan sebagainya Hati-hati dengan lisan kita Banyak kawan-kawan uh, yang di mana mereka ingin berhijrah Namun mereka mm, patah balik disebabkan apa Mereka tidak mendapat apresiasi daripada orang sekeliling Dan uh, saya teringat juga ini yang berkaitan dengan uh, egocentrism Egocentrism ni bukan berkaitan dengan ego Tapi uh, kita, dia macam berkaitan dengan nak orang faham Mengharapkan macam, kau fahamlah diri aku. Kau fahamlah. So sebenarnya untuk nak mengajar orang buat kebaikan ni, kita kena faham dulu personaliti mereka. Kemudian barulah kita menggunakan kata-kata yang berhikmah. Oleh itu, uh, bolehlah um, komen down below. Komen down below. Video apa pula yang korang nak uh, saya atau kakak saya buat sekali together. I don't know. Macam hari tu kita orang buat the sibling type. Korang boleh chat di YouTube uh, channel saya. InsyaAllah kalau ada masa saya akan buat uh, Kalau tak ada masa saya tak buat lah <laughs> Oleh itu Macam Nabi kata Balurah ni walau ayah sampai ke kadirku Walaupun sepatut ayat Jadi apa-apa yang korang dapat manfaat Daripada video ini Share kepada orang lain Mudah-mudahan dapat manfaat bersama Mudah-mudahan kita dapat jumpa lagi Di syurga Allah insyaAllah Oleh itu Wabilahi taufiq wal hidayah Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh